so if in the event that we make the playoffs, um, do you think we should actually be a lower seeded team so that we play against a higher seeded team and we play up to the competition? Or if we are a higher seeded, uh, you know, uh, in the playoffs and if we get a lower team, we might play down. Like, what do you think? That's that's a very that's a that's a philosophical question. Sure. Like, um, shit. Excuse me, I didn't say that. Uh, um, so we do rise to the to the competition. I think when we play teams like Toronto, when we play teams that are the best teams in the league, because they press the way they do and because they play the way they do, it kind of allows us to do what we do. Um, but we, we, we're we pretty good at breaking down inferior teams. So I don't think much should change. I think this is just something that tends to happen. Um, that's why there's a ton of games during a season because you're not going to be able to break down all the bad teams that you play or all the inferior teams. Again, no offense to the D.C. United fans, but you can't do it all the time. And it's tough because now uh, the difference between – now and in the beginning of the season is in the beginning of the season everything was new right. now teams know how to scout us so what they do is they do that they park the bus and they crowd the middle because they know that our skill players are in the middle so they challenge us to go wide and we go wide and sometimes it works but uh, I honestly don't think that they should change anything and I honestly don't think that it matters who we play yeah. um, I hope that with Tata, he's able to adjust the tactics, and he has a he has kind of a reputation for being able to adjust sure. the tactics for teams yeah. uh, that he yeah, plays. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, he did. I mean, he did, and he tried some stuff that um, somewhat controversial towards the end. Yeah. But I think for those of us that are fans, the changes were the right changes. Yeah. Um, we expected Gressel and we expected Vasquez to come in. Yeah. I think. Some of us disagreed on Vasquez playing out wide and Gressel playing almost up top, like a center mid almost up top yeah. with, with Martinez. I think that's those are just things that we're always going to disagree with. But right. it's clear that Tata knew that he needed those guys to come in right. to make a change to score that goal. Right. It just it wasn't clean. Yeah. And, 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 on, and credit to D.C. D.C. did, DC did some pretty amazing things. Yeah. I mean, they really did. And then, that, dude, the, the addition of Areola changed everything their wing play on the left side was impeccable yep. and it really challenged our best side our, our, our left side is yeah. is is our our strength sure. and Ariola kind of almost kind of neutralized that because we know how Ariola is he's a great player right. yeah he's a very so, good player yeah and so Garza had to play back a little bit further than he normally used to and Assad had to work a little harder he was in there making some crucial stops in the box as well. He had to come all the way back. So, yeah, absolutely, yeah. That's a, yeah. yeah, Yamil's a workhorse. Yamil's always going to come back. He's always going to play hard. Garza is a workhorse too, but Garza thrives when Garza's able to go forward. And you saw in the in the first 15 minutes, Garza got up and almost, I mean, the one that went off his thigh yeah. and went out. When Garza goes forward, he is dangerous. Our left side is our is our side. Right. And that, that, that infusion of Areola right. threw us off completely because now we had to like look for solutions in other side in other places, and it was I I I hate to give DC United the credit, but they they did a very good job. Yeah, they arguably could have uh, could have scored more. There were there were chances that they, you know, uh, they scuffed a little bit that should have been you know goals. So you know it could have been uglier. So I think we're okay with uh, just skirting out of town probably with. Uh, our tails behind our backs, probably, yeah. <laughs>